Good morning. Today we shall consider uh, one of possible approximations of the Delta Dirac uh, distribution. Let us uh, consider the following sequence of functions. Delta n of x equals 0 out of the interval minus 1 over n plus over n and delta n of x equals uh, 1 n over 2 if within the closed interval minus 1 over n plus over n. Let us look this uh, uh, function graph of the function. That uh, f elements of the sequence delta n of x is on the graph. It is from minus infinity to minus uh, n, 1 over n 0. Between minus 1 over n plus over n is n over 2. This this n over 2. And after 1 over n, again it is 0 at this 0. So the other observation we do that the area that uh, area of the rectangle is the base times the height, the, this side. So the base is uh, 1 over n minus minus 1 over n is 2 over n times n over 2, which is 1 for all natural n 1, 2 up to infinity. So the area is the same um, for all natural n, but the shape of the area will change when n changes. Here we see the change of the shape of the rectangle. It becomes higher and higher and the base is smaller and smaller in the limit it is zero and uh, uh, value n over 2 escapes to infinity this is consistent with heuristic um, the, the, the heuristic description of the delta uh, Dirac uh, distribution okay so if we have this observation that the area is the same for all n for other uh, hand, we can evaluate the area as the integral between the graph of the function and x axis, which is integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of delta n of x, uh, then uh, out of the interval minus 1 over n, n uh, 1 over n, uh, it is 0, but within the uh, uh, integral, it is integral n over 2, since the value of the this very uh, function is n over 2. That is clear. Okay, so we can write that the limit of these numbers, this is then a sequence of numbers, uh, in fact, stationary sequence, 1, 1, 1, 1, the limit is, is 1. So we observe that, that this is not uh, convergence or uniform convergence or in, at a point convergence or any, any other convergence but it is con, conver, convergence we consider here is in the sense of the integral of that delta n functions which is the stationary sequence we call one and we cannot enter under the integral with the limit this is the Fubini theorem uh, gives the clarification when we can enter or not enter under integral but anyway that whole thing uh, goes to the quantity which is the uh, uh, integral from the distribution delta and it is what the limit is one okay so now let us know that for every uh, test function psi we have limit of uh, integral minus infinity to plus infinity of this product delta n psi of x so because of the delta n uh, definition then we have uh, uh, we reduce that uh, integral to the interval from minus 1 over n to plus over n and the value of delta n is n over 2 and uh, the test function psi um, remains under integral okay so now we note by the applying the mean value theorem for integrals, one can observe that there exists a point psi within the interval such that the value of the test function psi x n equals this integral. That is uh, n over 2 is uh, reciprocal of the length of the interval which is 
reciprocal of 2 over n, the base. Yes, that, that, that. Xi n uh, within the interval. So if n tends to infinity, then Xi n tends to zero. Good, that is important uh, observation. And that function is also continuous as a test function, very regular. So we say that x, xi n tends to zero when n to, uh, tends to infinity from the above uh, two sides in inequality. So now we can write that this limit, which is, as we know here, is this one. And that, that is the limit, this uh, integral is psi of x n, of, uh, psi of xi n. So that is limit, but psi n tends to zero, function psi is continuous, that it is psi of zero. And by definition of the uh, delta distribution, this is the uh, value of the functional at the function, uh, test function psi, which is psi of x zero. That is clear. Now let us uh, look uh, in the other aspect when the delta of Dirac was the, uh, related with the uh, origin x null equals to zero, but now we should consider shifted delta distribution. So we say that delta of x zero at a point x zero is the functional with that uh, point, relative point x zero at the function psi, which we uh, define as the value of the function psi at x zero. If the x zero is zero, that includes both other uh, above uh, case. So this is for all test functions. So shifted distribution, uh, we can approximate as well as before. So we consider only this delta n of that point x i zero x, which is zero in the interval and out of the interval. And that the same fact we observe that uh, that uh, rectangle we have here is, uh, is only uh, shifted from the uh, position at origin x0 to the point x0 and the area is the same and that the, fall, the, 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 the integral of all terms of that shifted delta distribution is 1 for all n and this stationary sequence is convergent to the delta uh, to the integral of the delta distribution uh, shifted delta distribution and it is 1. So we have this and also uh, the relation of the product of test function and and the, that uh, term of the sequence limit is the same as before, only the li limits are here uh, x0 plus uh, 1 over n, x0 minus 1 over n, and the mean value theorem gives us that uh, limit equals psi of x0, and that is the definition of the delta dis shifted delta distribution, and this is shifted de distribution. Thank you.